Okay, so let's learn a little bit more about uh, the tag selectors. So here we go. I've made a little change off camera when I wasn't uh, videotaping. Well, not taping, but screen capturing my screen. Anyway, so you look, I set the font size to 24 pics. Now look at the size of our H1 tags. Let me just take this away. Watch this. Save that. And you see, this is the default size. So you notice, what do I mean by that? Well, you notice that in the code, the uh, style code, this declaration does not specify. I don't tell the web browser what size to make my H1 tags, right? I just say, just make it orange. That's all I said to do. You know, I'm tired of looking at orange. We'll make it red instead. There it goes, red. So I just told it to make it red, but I didn't tell it what size to make it, right? So it's nowhere in our code here. Do I specify, do I tell the web browser what size to make the H1 tags? So what we see here is the automatic size, or as the nerds like to say, the default size that the browser makes the H1 text. Now, what size is this? we can figure that out actually. It's not 24. The default size, I believe, is 32. We'll see what happens. Now, because I set it to 32 in our CSS, this should, you know, well, this, this text here, this H1, will turn 32 picks. Hit refresh, doesn't change size. Let me put it to 42 just to make sure that we see what we're talking about. See, 42 much bigger. Back to 32. You see, there it is, 32. Okay, I'm tired of red now. Let's make it green. All right, green. Now, when I'm doing this, and if you can, you should be writing this code in your code editor and trying out these things as well. So you see, I set it to 32. I refresh, refresh, doesn't change. Let's take out the code. Now, there's no CSS telling the web browser what size to make the H1. So that means that this is going to be the default or the automatic size that the browser makes H1 tags. There we go. It's 32. I press refresh. Nothing happened. That means that's the default size. So what do you want to take away from this lesson? First of all, that the browsers have a default setting for everything in the page. So for instance, the default size for H1, we just found out, is 32 picks, right? Now, everything in the web browser has a default setting. So for instance, the color of your H1s also have a default. So let me just take out all the CSS here. Boom, boom. So now this CSS declaration block is empty, right? There's no CSS rules in here. See, this is a de declaration block. This is a CSS declaration block. This is, but there's no rules. So all I'm telling the browser to do now is when it comes to H1s, don't do anything. So what we're going to see here now in the browser is the automatic settings, the default settings, as the nerds like to say, for the H1. So let's refresh. As you can see, for the H1s, the default color for H1 text is black. And we know that the default size is 32. I'll put this back in. Boom. We just changed the color to green. Let's make this bigger. 48. Boom, now it's bigger. So you're getting the idea. One last rule for this particular lesson. Remember I told you between CSS properties and their values, at the end of a property value pair, prop, you know, property value pair, you have to have a semicolon so that the CSS, well, excuse me, so that the web browser knows this is the end of this CSS property value pair. This is another property value pair, etc. So you can, inside of your CSS declaration block, the last rule here, you can put a semicolon. That works great, but you don't have to. Why? Because there's no other CSS after this, right? But if you had more of these, if you had other CSS property values like I just have here. Now we're just line breaking here, right? We're just line wrapping. You would still need this semicolon between it. By the way, you could have font size 48, font size 48. That will work too. That's fine, but that, that's kind of weird. But let me just go back here. 
So there you go. I just want you to understand that. And uh, yeah, this video is long enough. On to the next lesson.